the split rock is a jig uh, that I wrote um, probably about 20 years ago 15 years ago um, which would put it around what, 2000 late 90s um, and at the time I was often playing with a group called Open House and we used to feature this tune fairly prominently. In fact, we recorded it on a CD called Huff and Mouth. Um, I gave it the name, The Split Rock, because of a, a place uh, near where my father grew up. Um, he grew up in a village called Dromore West on the Sligo coast. And uh, a couple of miles further west along the coastline towards a village called Eski, um, there's this big rock um, about the size of a small house that's got a big crack in it and the crack is maybe a foot or two wide um, just big enough to walk through but the catch is if you walk through it three times the legend is it will close in on you so I wouldn't advise anyone to risk it um, these legends are usually are not true but you never know so beware if ever you find yourself by the split rock um, yeah when I was a, when I was a kid I used to love going there um, and it always looked uh, kind of a weird and wonderful place so um, that's why it seemed a, a nice uh, tune for a nice title for a tune um, it's a very simple jig really two parts each part played twice um, I sometimes say it's as easy as ABC because the first notes are, in fact, A, B, C. Well, actually, A, B, C sharp. They're the first notes. And then a, a long C sharp. So it, you could look at it as a repeat. Um, the, the bar starts with three short notes. And then B, A, F sharp. And then there's a long note followed by B, A, F sharp. So they're the opening two measures. Followed by E to B. So the first four measures together sound like this. second half uh, starts um, with an F sharp so this the split rock the first thing I'd like to suggest is swooping up to that C sharp I mentioned uh, earlier that uh, in the, in the basic uh, tutorial that I used to play this tune with um, with uh, a band called Open House and we had a, a dancer in the group uh, called Sandy Silva, fantastic dancer, and she worked out a special routine to this uh, to this tune and uh, right there on that C sharp note. Um, that 
the the swooping up to the note uh, is something that she used to uh, mirror the way she moved either a drag of the foot or a twirl of the body and I used to try and follow her movements while playing the tune so a lot of, a lot of it is coloured through playing for her um, two notes together and when I'm playing them at speed I usually slur them together and emphasize the second one by putting a grace note on it. 